What you're about to experience are my opinions and truths. I'm suggesting their possibilities for you to consider, in which you can then come up with your own logical conclusions. And hello everyone, welcome once again. My name is Logan, and this is Decode Your Reality. Today I'm going to be doing a very special presentation on decoding the Georgia Guidestones. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this one. My apologies for being late on delivering this to you. God, this thing has... I could have put in double the amount of effort into this and still not even finish what it's expressing to me. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you're returning, thank you for your support. And what I want you to do is keep an open mind today about what I'm about to show you because this is exactly what we're doing to define this matrix. So we're gonna be putting a puzzle together. I want you to follow along. Please have an open mind. Have an open mind and use your common sense. Most people don't have common sense these days. Not you. But most people have zero common sense. It's obvious, by the way, our world's moving right now. It's unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. But nonetheless, here are the methods of decoding that I utilize. And again, if this is your returning time here, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much. Uh, look down in the description below. You can just fast forward to the timeline of the actual presentation. If you're new to this, again, welcome. Maybe somebody invited you here. If you're watching this, you're supposed to be watching this. Maybe you're like the, the whole trying to decode. Maybe you're a private detective in your own way, shape, or form. But this is how the methodology works, folks. First and more foremost, I use numerology. Numerology is the science of numbers. It's taking the spoken word, reducing it down to a number, and then it giving an expression. And then you can under when you understand these numbers and it's you know if you're not a numerologist that's okay i'm going to make it even easy for you because we're going to connect these numbers to other layers in this matrix reality and to give you actual pictures of what these numbers really mean so notice the word great britain the country of great britain equals the number 31. it has all these individual letters as well which we can decode from but nonetheless the total outcome for great britain is 31. And that's a direct match of the great city of London. That's a total of 31. And, you know, London and Great Britain, they claim to be the crown. That's where the royals live. You know, they claim to be the crown. And that's really important during this presentation. Now, again, we're talking about Georgia Guidestones. So you can imagine where this is going to go. So we use this website right here. It's called Jamatronator.com. And when you get to this website, it's going to look like this. You're going to click on this calculator right here. And then you're going to have these standard, what are called ciphers. Ciphers are, these are all different. And there's a lot, folks. So, you know, I'm going to, and I'm going to show you. This is how many there are. And this is why people, like, start getting confused. And look at all these. I mean, it's insane how many ciphers there are. And to me, they muddy the waters. They will literally drive you crazy. And you'll make a lot of connections if you're a person who loves using numerology. But you know what? That's so easy to do. A five-year-old can do that. But when you want to go really down deep and find out the truth, you need to eliminate a lot of these and go to two simple ciphers. To make it easy, you want to keep it simple. You want to go up here. You want to have this one, the English ordinal. And you want to go down to other and go to Chaldean right here. I want to get rid of these stupid reverse ones. So these are the two primary ones. If you're a brand new decoder, this is what you want to use right here. And they basically work like this. The English is using the numbers 1 through 26, matching up the letters A through Z. So A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, and so on. Chaldean's a little bit more challenging. It only uses the numbers 1 through 8. This is the oldest numerology cipher on the planet, by the way, giving it antiquity. And to me, giving it supreme reign over all other ciphers. But nonetheless, they tell a story, folks, and they're going to be different. These, this goes off of what's called phonetics or the vibrational frequency of numbers. 
okay? So the second step of the methodology here is when you bring in the cards of illumination. I call them that. They are the typical poker cards in a poker deck, blackjack, go fish, gin rummy. You've played cards before. And there are 52 cards in a deck, and that matches the 52 weeks of the year. There are four suits matching the four seasons of the year. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. Hearts, clubs, diamonds, spades. So that's how these are so accurate. And your, your birthday is going to have a several of these cards, by the way. If you're interested in that, hit me up. The cousin, the offshoot of these, is the tarot. History tells us these came first, these came second, but nonetheless, they're still in bed with one another. Notice that I have the 23rd card here, the 10 of clubs, and then I have the 31st card here, the 10 of wands. Now wands means clubs. That's a direct match. These are cousins or brothers or brothers and sisters, however you want to look at that reason why I'm showing the 23rd card and the 31st card is because, remember, Great Britain and London, they both equal the number 31, and they claim that they're the crown. And since the crown is 23, and London and Great Britain are 31, and these two cards are an exact match in different systems, it shows you the strength and power of what this city is all about, folks. The next step is... Well, let me show you these cards, actually. This is the actual lineage of the cards, starting with the Joker at the zero position. And then they go hearts, clubs, diamonds, spades. They go from one, ace is number one, all the way down to the king suit, which is number 13. And then it starts back over again. Ace of clubs, all the way down to the ace of the king of clubs be the 26 card and then it starts over and one and then you have you know you typically have two jokers in the deck which is the zero and the 53 card and there's great significance to that but that's the actual lineage of the cards and then this is the lineage of the tarot i'm sorry i don't have a photograph of them but i wanted to show you these are the natural lineage this is one of there are several lineages in the tarot system some say there's 78 cards. If you know the tarot, a lot of people reuse the fool card, the zero card, and they put it in position number 22. I find both systems have accuracy, but this is the one I primarily use. 77 cards, and they go in this order right here. If, you're, if you have questions on this, hit me up. And then we bring into this next step, alchemy. Now, alchemy just means the blending of energies, but it involves the elements of the periodic table. Maybe you haven't seen this since high school, science in high school. The 118 elements of the periodic table. Folks, this is our matrix. It is our matrix. We are made up of a lot of these elements. And they have a story to tell. When you tie them to numerology, when you tie them to the cards of illumination, when you tie them to the tarot. So the reason why I'm showing vanadium here, because it's the 23rd element and that word matches the word crown, which matches the 23rd card, the 10 of clubs. And there's massive significance to the weight of vanadium, 50.944. These numbers right here, folks, again, keep it simple. Don't try to look into it. Don't try to get confused. Don't try to make heads or tails of it. Just follow the breadcrumbs. So the reason why I'm showing 23 is because of this 23 and this 23. And together they all form a story. And I'm going to show you that during this presentation. London's 31, Gallium's 31. So together, that's these two elements right here. So that's how we end up doing this piece right here. And then we can also bring in the digits of pi. The never-ending zero, the zero is pi, 3.1415, and so on. And we can find out where these total numerology outputs end up appearing in the string of pi. And it tells us another layer. So for example, the word crown is 23. And if you type in and find out where the 23 appears in the digits of pi, it, it forms at the 16th position right there. 
you'll see it's in blue and what's interesting about the 16 is it is pi in the Greek the Greeks are the ones that made that letter they're let the 16th letter is pi they made that famous they're the ones who originated that and so it's 3.14 so the crown you'll see this is the strength of it all folks and that's how this matrix is made up of it's made up of numbers and it strengthens the story when you understand that these people that are running the world temporarily this is how in bed they are with the numbers and how strong they are because of the numbering system they're on which you can use to your favor once you understand this okay and then we bring mathematics into this the number 23 you go to numberempire.com numberempire.com and you can type in any number and it'll give you a lot more than what I'm showing you but notice you know 23 is related to the crown that is the ninth prime number if you don't know what a prime number is go Google it because it's much easier if you read it with your own mindset versus me trying to explain it prime numbers are standalone numbers very powerful so 23 is the ninth prime number nine means endings and completions very powerful that's the reason why Michael Jordan wore the number 23 on his jersey. It's the reason why LeBron James wears the number 23 on his jersey. Folks, these people are entertainers for the crown. They work for the crown, which is why all sports are rigged. Maybe not every game, but folks, the games that matter, they are 1,000% rigged, which is why I don't really watch sports anymore. The number 31, London and Great Britain share that commonality. The number 31 on numberempire.com is the 11th prime number. And you know, what's interesting is there's your 911. Another layer to observe. So we can bring math into this. Numbers, when you understand how to connect them, they speak truth. Easily can get convoluted because they can lie to you. But you got to know how to put them together the correct way. And using this system I built will deliver to you what I feel to be the truth of what runs this matrix reality. So to give you one more example before I get into this presentation, ladies and gentlemen, please stick with me. I promise you it will be well worth your wait investing into this video. These are two main organizations on the world stage. Huge. They're in bed with the United Nations. They're in bed with the governments. Pretty big organizations. The CDC, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, and then the World Health Organization. I mean, these guys, look at their symbol. It's the serpent, the crooked serpent. If you don't know what the crooked serpent is, go, if you don't know what that means, go type in Leviathan under your Google search. And that's what these guys are showing with their symbology. These people do not have your best interests at heart, by the way. Which is why I have two big skulls in the background. They're a big fraud, folks. What I want to point out is the formation dates of these organizations. The CDC was formed on July 1st, 1946. And then the World Health Organization was the 7th of April, 1948. Folks, this is where the accuracy of the cards of illumination come into play. Both of these organizations, they share the Ace of Spades, the infamous Ace of Spades. And I'm going to show you how I got to that. The 7th of April and then the 1st of July. But notice the numerology of Ace Spades. That's how we say that, Ace Spades. It's a number 33. And if you know what the number 33 is... Well, now you're getting another layer to observe things from. Because it's not just labeled, well, it's Freemasonry, and there's a lot of layers to it, folks. But it's a code they go by. Notice the headquarters of the CDC is in Atlanta, and look at the latitude, longitude. And this is another layer you can observe Matrix from 33 degrees north and 84 degrees west. 33 degrees north. And their card related to their formation date ends up a, being a direct match of the 33 
What are the odds of that being the case? Well, you see, when you understand how the system works, this has been going around and going on for a very long time, going unnoticed, but no longer is it unnoticed. These people have been exposed. This is the actual chart to get to the cards to where I showed you, you know, how do you get to seven? How does seven of April form the ace of spades and then July 1st? Well, when you go to July 1st, it's right here, July 1st. Here's your 12 months over the top and here is your 31 days running longitudinally or vertically. So we have July 1st, the formation of the CDC, that's the ace of spades. And then you have the World Health Organization on the 7th of April. So you go down April 7th and you have the Ace of Spades. Now, folks, you got to ask yourself, I mean, the, you know, these are almost two years apart, yet they share the same birthday card. How is that possible? These people are either sitting down and they're deciding upon the dates so they can land on these cards or there's something that's controlling man beyond the, the, the realms of physicality. And I choose the latter. Something is running man and using man to do its bidding. Let's give another example. The 33 is a spades right here, folks. And the 33rd card in the Animal Tarot, which is these cards right here, these are the 52 cards of the Animal Tarot. All of these cards, they match up with the Cards of Illumination. This is the Native American Medicine cards. And each animal is expressing its own energy. And they're very accurate as well. Nonetheless, the 33rd card matching that of a spades right here is the weasel the key word for this card is stealth now if you're going to try to pull a woolly over your eyes if you're really going to try to take america down try to take the world down without them knowing it you're going to be using this kind of mode right here i mean i didn't choose these keywords folks these cards were derived and made up, I think, back in the 1980s. And it just shows the power and the accuracy. And let me look at this. Weasel ends up becoming 23, which is a direct match of the word crown. So you see how all of these are in bed together and they tell a story. So if you'd like a copy of, you know, my graphics, you know, with the cards like this, just inbox me and I'll send it to you. That way you can start decoding yourself. You know, I've already read, I've already made these for people. So, you know, just inbox me and I'll send it to you. Decode your reality at gmail.com. So here we go, folks. Here is the presentation on the Georgia Guidestones. Thanks for sticking with me so far. If you're a new person to this channel. And please subscribe and tell your friends because, you know, the more people that are able to do this decoding, the better off we're all going to be. Strength in numbers. And you're going to find this is extremely accurate and it will tell you what I believe to be the truth on how this matrix works. So here we go, folks. This is the actual physical address that's on Wikipedia. This is what they're expressing of the location of the Georgia Guidestones. I mean... <laughs> when I pulled this up, I was like, you got to be kidding me. I mean, I knew I was in for a wild ride, but I mean, really? <laughs> you know, really? And again, I mean, you know what? You know what you'd have to do to actually come up with this, to come out with this outcome? I mean, to use numerology. That's why I'm saying man is being used. It's way too complex to express itself in the mannerism I'm going to show you by sitting down and trying to do it all step by step. Impossible. Notice it's 25 letters. That's, you know, has significance because here we go. The 119 or the 911. Yep. So who wrote the Georgia Guidestones? I mean, you know, I mean, I could probably stop the presentation right there and you could use your wild imagination. Well, the element that matches that, a direct match, is the 50th element, tin or 10, you can say 10 or 10, 
but it, it's it, it's the only element that has an atomic weight of 119 so it's a direct match and then we bring in the animal tarot and the 50th card is the alligator why did i bring this and show this what is this telling us folks say alligator allah allah praise allah allah gator allah it's a possibility and i'm not pointing fingers i'm not trying to bring down a specific organization like that i'm not being racist i'm not being you know xenophobic whatever kind of word people may label me i'm gonna make things really clear folks my position in this life is to expose the virus and that is by any means necessary that's my position and that's something you're interested in otherwise you wouldn't be watching this but nonetheless alligator and it's a reptile now how many of you seen david ike stuff the reptilians live amongst us i mean come on folks what are the odds the 50th card's the alligator and it's a reptile anyway the word alligator equals 25 and that's a match with the word adversary the word parasite equals 25 the word black sun equals 25 and it's half of 50 you know and that's has great significance as well right there i mean these guys are dangerous <laughs> you know in nature you don't you know if you're down in florida or the carolinas you know you don't go sit there and try to approach an alligator i mean unless you want to really be risky but nonetheless think reptile reptile 911 or 119 How about the tarot and the cards of illumination? What do they have to say about it? Because they're going to give another layer. Notice the 50th card in the tarot is the Ace of Swords. The symbology, these all are about symbology, folks. There is your crown. That's your crown right there, folks. And that's, Ace always means the birth or new beginnings. New beginnings. What is the Georgia Guidestones all about? Reducing the population down changing the world in a massive way new beginnings and they're doing it with the sword and it's owned by the crown i mean that's the reason why knights templar i mean they equal the number 50 folks what are the odds knights templar 50 50th card ace of swords there's your crown related to the element tin which is related to the number 911 i mean these are big time links right here man you know, I mean, even the word knights equals the number 23, matching that of the word crown. You know, the 50th card in the Cards of Illumination deck is the Jack of Spades. And the Jack means knight. As in the knight on the chessboard. Knights. You see how this is all connected, folks. How about the city that this Georgia Guidestones is located in? It's in Georgia, but it's in Elberton. <laughs> you know, I mean, come on, Elberton equals 33. I just got done showing you the power of that 33. This is a code, folks. These are strategically placed. We're going to get into that, but notice the 33rd card in the tarot is the Knight of Wands. This is, Wands means mind. The master mind, that's what the 33 means, master mind. The master mind behind the plan, that's really what the 33 means if you know numerology. Master mind. If you're going to devise a plan to rule the world and be the crown and control the entire population, you have to be a master mind. And you got to go into battle because it's not, nobody rides for free. You're not just going to get it hand delivered to you. You're going to have to devise a strategy. A plan you're gonna have to be in stealth mode all the things I'm showing you they're all play a role folks it's really easy to interpret things when you have all these layers connected this is where it really gets interesting the 33rd element is arsenic which is poisonous notice that it has the 74 as its atomic weight the word Lucifer equals the number 74 I'm showing you that for good reason because there are some major links to this character 
in this presentation. You know, look, a lot of people think that Knights Templar, Freemasons, the Crown, they're all in bed together. A lot of people think their God is Lucifer. Is it? Is that really the root source of it all? Well, I'm just showing you things that are possibilities. Lucifer 74, arsenic has an atomic weight of 74. It's the 33rd element and it matches the city that this Georgia Guidestones is in. The other element that has 33 is sulfur, which reacts violently with water, reacts violently. It's the 16th element. The word Lord, which I didn't even add that in, the word Lord, L-O-R-D, that equals the number 16. Just like the word Babel, as in the Tower of Babel, Babel equals the number 16. Matching that of the 16th card, the Tower card. And then let's not forget, Sulfur equals 28, which is a direct match of Lucifer in the Chaldean. So you see, you have two different ways to look at this like you know that's what makes it more challenging but when you add in these when you add in these it starts to define things and then there's no escaping the truth then it's not guessing or watering it down by doing you know a zillion different numerology ciphers that's easy to do but look at the tie-ins folks what about the animal tarot what does it have to say i already showed this card with the CDC and the World Health Organization. But the 33rd card is the weasel. Its keyword is it's the stealth animal. That equals the number 23, just like the word crown. So, you know, look, use your common sense and logic here, folks. We know this is a code word or a code number, but this is undeniable right here, folks. They're going to be in stealth mode. You're not going to see it. You're seeing this. Maybe you're seeing it for the first time. There's no more hiding anymore, folks. No more. Those days are gone for these people. That's why their house of cards is going to crumble. Because they're being exposed. What about the latitude longitude of the Georgia Guidestones? Here's where it gets interesting. Here is the coordinates of the Georgia Guidestones. 34 degrees north and, fifth, and uh, 82 degrees west. So then when we match those up with the 34th element and the 82nd element, selenium and lead, and then we add these two up, folks, going over to the trusty calculator, we get a total of 287.894. This is the feminine side. This is the masculine side. The next time you go pump gas, notice that this side feeds this side so this is the feminine giving birth to the masculine east to west they say everything started out in the east feminine to masculine nonetheless 287 right here bringing in the digits of pi folks this is a dead giveaway right here i mean again you know you gotta ask yourself using your common sense the number 287 appears at the 911th decimal digit of pi are you freaking kidding me? I just showed you the 911 with the 50. And there's another supporting piece of this. There's your 911, folks. Now you know why they use the 911. Georgia Guidestones, when we go through the English ordinal, that equals the number 200. That's linked to the element Mercury. Mercury is the planet of communication. Mercury's numerology is 23. That's a direct match with the word crown. So, of course, you know, this is all telling you that these guidestones are using the planet Mercury to communicate to the cosmos of what they're trying to do down here. As above, so below. These guidestones have 10 different guidelines, like the Ten Commandments in eight different modern languages. The word, the number 10 is related to tin. I said 10 and tin, same thing. The vowel can be in exchange. This is a very predominant number here in our matrix reality. The address of the government of 
Great Britain is 10 Downing Street. 10. Go look it up. The government of Great Britain. It's located at 10 Downing Street. Very important to understand, folks. The word NASA equals the number 10. Very, very important, folks. That's why they go by these codes. And I have this shape right here. This is the Yod. In the Aramaic or Hebrew language, it's the 10th letter. And of course, if you know anything about the Jewish Old Testament, it is the yod heh vah that runs their world. It is the God of the Bible. If you are using the Bible at all, folks, the Old Testament, New Testament, your God of the Bible is the yod heh vah The modern name is Jehovah, Yahweh. It's all the same thing. They're all in the same thing, folks. What about the opening date of the Georgia Guidestones? I mean, clear as day. You can't really kind of try to narrow this down any other way, but looking at the date here, it opened on March 22nd, 1980. March is 322. Well, that should tell you pretty much loud and clear who's kind of got a part in all this. I mean, hello don't really need to look into that one. I mean, it's clear as day. What about these guys? It's Skull Bones 322. That's what it's expressing here as a symbol. And through English, it equals the number one. I could have done it through Chaldean. I'm just showing you one that has strong tie-ins. Skull and Bones 322 equals the number 137. Numberempire.com. 137 is the 33rd prime number. Again, they're 33. That's their code. And I showed you what the 33 is. It's related to stealth. It's related to a lot of things. How about the date itself? Well, 1980 was a leap year, folks. That makes March 22nd the 82nd day of the year. The element Lead is the 82nd element, and lead is related to the planet Saturn. How about if you do it through the digits? Like, you know, a lot of people do it this way. Or, you know, 322. It doesn't matter, but nonetheless, these are the digits in math. That equals the number 25, and that matches the word black sun and the word adversary. The word corona equals the number 25. So, folks, come on, use your common sense. All of these groups are in bed together. It's all ruled by a very few selected people and their house of cards is starting to crumble away. That's the good news. When we say March 22nd, 1980, that becomes a 37 and that's a direct match of the word sun, moon, and of course, if you know anything about Boaz and Jachin, if you haven't seen my video on Boaz and Jachin, the pillars in the Solomon error in the Bible, which is all about Freemasonry, they're all about Boaz and Jachin. Well, that's because it's solar lunar. And that equals the number 33. And Boaz Jachin equals the number 33. So you tell me. I mean, you look and see. These are all direct connections telling you exactly what is going on behind the scenes that you never saw before. And of course, these all these Georgia Guidestones are all about solar lunar. March 22nd is the date that they opened. The element titanium is the 22nd element. Notice the atomic weight of titanium, the number 47. That is a direct match to the word Tetragrammaton, which is the ancient Israelite God in the Old Testament and the New Testament. And that's a direct match of the words Washington, D.C. and White House. Direct matches, folks. Not trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. They're all in bed together. How about 2-2? Because that's the date it opened on, the 22nd or 2-2. 2-2 two, two equals 34. Follow the breadcrumbs. The 34th card is the 8 of diamonds. 8 diamonds equals 47. Once again, giving you a direct match to the word Tetragrammaton and Washington, D.C. White House, Georgetown. All these equal 47. 
That's another code that they go by. So you can see there's no escaping the aspects of the cards in this methodology. No escaping it anymore. You can tell and figure it out just by connecting the dots, putting this puzzle together. How about the county in Georgia that these Georgia Guidestones are located in? Elbert County. It's right here. Elbert County. Well, there's another 47, folks. I mean, it's kind of getting old, huh? There's more code for you, folks. And of course, the stronger these numbers match up like that, to me, this means that it's a very force to be reckoned with in this matrix reality. So again, Tetragrammaton, Washington, D.C., Elbert County, Georgia Guidestones location. They're, they specifically have this highlighted. If you go onto the description, you can click on granite. It's in blue. And, you know, they wanted to highlight that because it's one of the highlights. They made these out of granite. And you'll notice granite is through the English is a 74, which is a mirror of the 47. And through the Chaldean, it's the number 21, which is related to the planet Saturn. Remember, the word COVID equals the number 21 as in COVID-19. And then, you know, let's not forget that we bring in the element arsenic. The poisonous element has the 74 and the 33, which is where these two characters came into play, where they come into existence, perhaps indicating the yin-yang right here. Jesus and Lucifer, one and the same. Good cop, bad cop. Villain and superhero. What about their phone number? Their total phone number adds up to the number 39. I mean, look at it. It's a 13, 13, 13. 13 is, you know, the number they go off of because that's their... I mean, obviously, at the table of the Last Supper before Judas was discovered, there was 13 men. You know, it's there's half of the alphabet. I mean, that's the alphabet right there. This forms the Trinity. A lot of significance here. But the number 39 is the standout. That's linked to the element yttrium. Notice its abbreviation, the letter Y, as in the Yod. I showed that earlier. There's 10 commandments on here. The 10th letter is the Yod. You know, and of course, um, skull and bones. That equals the number 39. And of course, we know where their location is. It's in Yale University. Folks, look at these connections. I mean... Do you have to really try to look into things? Isn't it freaking obvious what's going on here? I mean, the word yttrium equals the number 25, and that's a direct match of when this thing opened on the 22nd of March. I mean, is it not obvious, folks? You know, the cat's out of the bag. I mean, we're in the year of the rat. These guys are getting ratted out. How about the height of the Georgia Guidestones? According to Wikipedia, 19 feet, 26 inches. So we have 19 and 26, the 19th element and the 26th element, potassium and iron. When you add those up, you'll get the element plutonium, which is Lord Shiva. And of course, if you want to kill off over 7 billion people, if that's what your agenda is, well, who better to call upon than Lord Shiva, the god of destruction? And of course, Pluto. Lord Shiva's Pluto. Pluto is Hades. Hades is the god of the underworld. Let's not forget the war number 241, which is what these are linked to. You know, again, 19 and 26, potassium and iron. And these end up becoming 241, which is the 53rd prime number. Remember, 38 and 55 is 94. Potassium and iron, when you add them up, it becomes 94. Plutonium is the 94th element. He has an atomic weight of 241. 241 is the 53rd prime number. 53rd element is iodine. Iodine is related to the yod. Go look it up. I am that I am. Strong connections. I mean, you gotta, you know, why are they using these heights? Right here, folks. Man's not doing this, folks. They're not mapping it out like this. There's something using man to do its bidding. Here's the actual 
overhead view of what it would look like and I placed a dice here because I feel this is the number five is the number folks that's why there's five slabs there's four with one in the middle if you were to be a drone over the top of this it would look somewhat like this one in the middle and four around it and that's why you know five is really where it's at I mean the only number that looks like a snake is the number five and these are the elements in question boron and tin they both share the five look at the weights folks use your common sense this one is 119 this one is 11.009 they both share the five which is what this shape is made up of folks use your common sense you have some put the dots together connect the puzzle pieces this is what's behind the doors this is the Wizard of Oz here's another rendition this is the Gnostic Demiurge called Yaldabaoth that's what they feel runs this matrix all the same crap man it's all the same crap the monuments made up of six slabs six is the first perfect number it's half of the yin yang it's the yang the white yang and they weigh 237,746 pounds. Well, there's your number in numerology, and that is a direct match to the word Yaldabaoth. The 29th element is copper. Copper is linked to Boaz and Jachin, which is related to 33. I can keep going. These are clear, clear links telling you the story of what's expressing itself. Here's the story about the actual Georgia Guidestones. In 1979, the month of June, this guy using a synonym, Robert C. Christensen, approached the Elberton Granite Finishing Company. I mean, look at these ridiculous tie-ins. And you're telling me our matrix reality is not scripted? It is completely rigged. Look at this. Robert C. Christian equals the number 50. And then Elberton Granite Finishing Company equals the number 115. And tin has multiple weights. 115 is one of them, and it's the 50th element. They're both tin, folks. Come on, use your common sense. Our matrix is scripted. It's all scripted, folks. And you need to wake up and understand that. Man is being used. This was also off of Wikipedia. I'm just showing you what was in parentheses. He said when he approached this granite finishing company, he said it was on behalf. He was representing a small group of loyal Americans. That was what was in parentheses. Look at what it ends up becoming in numerology. The yin yang, folks. A completely balanced, perfectly balanced statement. The black and white right here, folks. The checkerboard which of course is related to you know what black and white checkerboard you do the thinking on that one folks it's clear as day I'm almost finished thanks for sticking with me this is the location of the Georgia Guidestones and this is the highway or the freeway that it's off of I mean what are the odds that it's off route 77 it's a master number well it's called Hartwell Highway there it is right there and of course keep in mind Hartwell is a 29 which is a direct match of Yaldabaoth Hartwell you know you look at these things come on man you know I mean look at these things crazy anyway it's a total of 51 that's the element antimony that's the all-seeing eye of Horus tied to the number 50 they're all tied together. These numbers encroach upon one another. 50 is tied to the 51. Nonetheless, the weight of this is 120. And King Diamonds equals the number 120. That is the 77th card in the tarot deck. This is the 39th card, but because they're cousin cards... And this is the 77th card. It's a direct match. I mean, again, you know, it's right off of Route 77. The 77th card is the King of Pentacles, which is the King of Diamonds. 
which matches the 120, which matches antimony, which matches the Hartwell Highway. You see how these are all puzzle pieces of the puzzle, and they all go together when you connect them. I think this is my last slide. It is. This is right off of Wikipedia. I didn't write this, folks. The monument is about 90 miles east of Atlanta, 45 miles from Athens, Georgia, and nine miles north of the center of the city of Elberton. So if you take those three numbers in question, 90 plus 45 plus nine gives you a total of 144. As in the chosen ones in the Holy Bible, if you like to use the Bible, folks. I mean, Wuhan, the city of Wuhan where the coronavirus supposedly was introduced, that has a latitude longitude of 144. Denver, Colorado, where the United States government have a base underneath the airport, their latitude longitude equals the number 144. So folks, I can keep going, I can keep showing stuff, but I think you get the picture. What is it that you saw during this presentation? I know I went over a lot of information. Thank you for sticking with me. This has been yet another long one. It seems like I can't get out of the long presentations because there's just so many slides, so much information. But what is it you saw during this presentation, folks? I mean, I think the links are obvious. These are, these are dead giveaways. And it tells you who's behind these Georgia Guidestones. Who's behind it? It's not man, folks. Man is being used to deliver these things to the world. But I think it's clear as day what's going on here, folks. Clear as day. So what is it you saw during this presentation? I'd love to hear your feedback. I'd love to hear things that you saw that I didn't see. You know? But I think it's clear, folks, who's behind the Georgia Guidestones. Well, that's all I got for today. My name is Logan. This is Decode Your Reality. Thank you so very much for your support and watching.